Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. So I didn't know what to do for this video today. And I was watching Crafters TV this morning and I saw Debbie, Debbie, make like a folder thing. Um, that's not what I want. She made like a folder thing to put cards in. <coughs> Just simple, easy. And um, there's a little pocket on the side and you, you know, just stick some note cards in there. So I thought when I saw that, oh, I should make one of those and give it away at my 200 swap. I'll make the holder and I'll make some uh, little note cards and I'll just give it away at the swap for the swap. So I caught the show late. I didn't catch all her dimensions or anything. Um, I'm just trying to take the edges off here. And so I thought, well, I'll have to make my own size. So I got to trim this little piece off. That's all there is to it. So that's going to change the width also. Just a tiny bit, but it will change it. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's steel. That's bad. I won't be using that piece. Let me grab a different piece. Would be nice if I could get one to come out clean. That's better. Because this is 12 inches long, it would be nice to be able to use the whole sheet. So it's 12 inches by nine. So we're gonna keep this nine inches long, or you know, high, height wise. We'll keep it nine. And maybe we'll cut it down. We'll see how it looks after I figure out all these other numbers. So I want an inch. I want an inch for my um, centerpiece. So that leaves me 11 inches. So what I really need to do is do the the 12 go halfway which is six inches right that is a, the halfway mark I don't want to go the halfway mark I'm gonna go to the next half inch and I'm gonna do that on each side that's gonna leave me my inch um yeah that's half wanted to make sure that was a half an inch so I'm gonna do the half an inch and then you get back and do it here and so six inches the half point and then I'm gonna go another half an inch and that will give me my inch in the center and that should be the halfway point, which is five and a half. These are at five and a half on each side. And that leaves me an inch in the center. That's just the way I figured it. We're going to score. 
and we're going to score. Now, if you noticed, and I'm going to say this because this is something I just found out. If you have problems with your paper cracking, and I, I mean, I don't know, is it true or not, but it seems to be um, the truth to me at this point so far anyways. The side that you score on, instead of folding into the score, to fold out of the score. That's why I folded backwards. So if this paper was going to crack and I folded it this way, it may have. Supposedly you have less cracking if you fold into the score. So backwards from what you think. Okay. So then the next step, see that just looks so long. It looks so tall. And it just doesn't look proportioned right. And it's not... I'm going to cut it an inch down and just see because the biggest card we're going to make is 5 by 7 anyways, right? So I'm going to go to 8 and cut that inch off and just see if that makes it look better. I want to make sure it's up here tight. Hold it. I want it straight for sure. Okay. So now it is five and a half by eight. So I should be able to get five by seven in there. Look at what a rough cut. going to try to sand that off a little bit and smooth it out. This is two, 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 two. Fine, it just doesn't want to do it. wasting my black paper because it's it's good solid paper and I just don't like wasting it so I would hate to have to pull this out too okay so here we go this is in black paper now we need a pocket here to put the cards in but I don't want to do the cards in just a regular pocket or you won't be able to fit anything in so we got to do a gusseted pocket so that means okay so this is five and a half we want it to be at least five right and I'm going to trim this down because the pockets only going to be um, so tall definitely not as tall as the not as tall as the um, book of thing. Okay, now what I need to do is figure out. So, five and a half, I'm not going to take it all the way to five and a half. I'm going to leave it at five. But I need my, my, um, I need, let's see, this is 12. No, because I cut some off, didn't I? Let's cut it at 11 just so we're starting with even numbers. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to say an inch and a half is going to bring me to nine and a half.
but at 10, and a half oh, I'm gonna do another line okay then I'm gonna go five inches a little bit over five inches so nine and a half and if we come down five inches we're eight seven six five four and a half right sure I want to be sure so to make sure because oh I hate when I start figuring math and then it don't make sense and then I mess up so here's my score line this is gonna be folded under and glued inside this is basically my gusset so from here I want the five inches maybe a little bit more so I'm gonna go to the five inch mark and I'm going to give it just, what is that, a quarter of an inch more. And, boy, that sure doesn't look like no five inches. Nope, it's not. I need this at five. This needs to be at five and a quarter of an inch more. The score mark five and a quarter see I would have messed that up and then I want to go another inch so that's going to bring me to seven and a quarter with the score line the score line is going to be at seven and a quarter that's not an inch I said five and a quarter six and a quarter no, seven and a quarter. Ugh. Is that five inches? I can move the score line to the inch mark. That'll make it easier. Okay. There's the inch. Now the next half of an inch for the tuck under. Okay, let's see if these all turned out right. So we got half an inch, an inch, half an inch, then we go to one and a half, then we go to six and three quarters because I want that extra quarter, remember, to make it a little bit bigger than the five. Then we're at seven and three quarters and then eight and a quarter. And this is where I'm gonna cut it off. And I can make sure my pocket will be five and a quarter. <coughs> Remember what I said, score opposite. So I'm going to bring those scores in. They're still cracking. A little bit. It's not bad, but it's a little bit. So. Oh my goodness. Okay. We got to do this over again because. Okay, that'll work. Because I need a score line also on the bottom. So I'm going to score. I'm going to see how big this piece is. And I'll use this piece. This piece is about not quite five and a quarter. It's going to give us a shorter one, isn't it? I'm going to go to five. That's going to give us a very small tab but for gluing, but that's all right. 
And then I'm gonna go to four. Then, now that I've got this one already figured out, that'll make this easier. I'm going to do this one at half an inch. Then I'm going to go to, let me see where I'm going to go, right, this will make it easier. Then I'm going to go to six and three quarters. So six and three quarters. giving me that quarter over the five then after six and three quarters I'm gonna go to seven and three quarters so seven and three quarters And then I'm going to go to eight and a quarter. Okay. And then this is where I'm going to cut it off. Okay. Now, now they're taking forever doing that. Okay, these are gonna fold in, fold in, fold in, fold in. But now we need to bring these up too. I'm gonna do it here. I don't know why, but something's telling me do it here. Okay, so these will go this way, right? We'll glue it in that way. And this has to come up. And go in this way. So what I need to do So I cut it in the right spot. So I do need to clip here. In here. And I could probably just eliminate this. But I kind of like the way that tucked under here like that but this is all going to glue down in here it's all going to glue down so let me go ahead and get some glue on here
might be just better off cutting these off. Mm, I like that, maybe that, I like that though. Okay. I'm gonna stick the glue here. It just seems like it's making the pocket a little bit sturdier with that on there like that. So we'll see. You know, usually people clip it off, but that seems just sturdier. Okay, hold that up for a minute. I didn't uh, go back in. These with the folder, did I? The bone folder. Okay. So now I'm going to take this. Do I want to do it that way or this way? I think I'll do it this way. Because I think this way will make it easier for the cards to slide right in there where this little thing won't get in the way. So I'll just stick a little glue up here, right there, and hold that there. Oh man, I hope I'm doing all this in frame. Oh, I hope I haven't taken this out of frame. Oh, I hate to have to do this over again. But I will if I need to. I won't know until I finish the video. So I'm going to have to go ahead and finish through and see what happens. That means I got to watch it. And I don't care to watch my video. So this will just now go in here. And we'll be able to close it this way. And I think that's going to be really cute. So let me put my glue on here. When I saw her do it, it was the end. And she was already had put the pocket on. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is such a neat idea, and it should be pretty simple, really. So, I just stick this down. Okay, so I won't be able to get six by six cards in here. And I just, I don't want it on the, um, what's that called where you, I don't want it on the fold. I just want it off the fold. And if, as long as it's not, once you put it on the fold, it messes things up. But, uh, look at that. Isn't that cute? I don't know if these people come up with some of the neat ideas. And I just love it. Look at that. And so now, 
all we have to do is decorate it up and figure out what we want to do with it. Um, I'm going to do like matte layers on it. Look at here, I've got this dragonfly stuff. And I've got this is six by six sheets. That's not big enough. I do want it to be pretty for y'all. Mm. Let's see what we got in the vellum. If anything would look good with the black. Is it oh look how nice that fits too I would only have to trim a little bit away and it feels nice I might go ahead and use this you know um, let's see if I got another sheet of it for the back There it is. Okay. That's what I'm going to use in the front. That's what I'm going to use on the cover. So the cover size is a little bit under, you know, close to five and a half. So I'm going to do five and a half by nine. I hope this vellum cuts easy enough. Okay, so let's do, let me put my top back on the glue. And let's do five and a half. And I'm just gonna go under five and a half. I'm gonna save that by nine. That's not nine. What is that? Eight. Where did I get nine from? And I'm just going to go under the eight. Okay. So we can put that on the cover. And I'm going to use a glue runner since it's vellum. So if you get this, be easy with it. Whoa. I probably should have gone for the character companion one with the dots. But that's repositionable and may not stay on it. Okay, so now I need to put it on. I'm bringing it in a little bit closer. Mm. It's a little bit over. But what I can do is come back and trim it. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the back cover. Okay, and this will go on the back. Uh, 
careful with it and I'm getting off okay. Make sure I got it up right. Yep. I'm going to start at the top again. Gosh. Probably should have decorated this first. No, 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 no. Start here. That's the way to go because I can't trim it off of here, really. Okay. There we go. And I need to enter this. And I'm going to do a little bit under an inch. I'm going to make that quite a bit under an inch and mat it and do more of a mat with it. And I think. I'm going to use this straight side and go from here. For some reason, it just doesn't seem to be straight. But as long as it's up there, that should be straight. pretty good. So we're just going to go one and two. Start from here. than I wanted it to. Okay, that's all right, though. There we go. Here's our cover. Now for the insides. Hmm. I might just do the same thing and, and, um, use some of this paper. That's what I think. Let me use this one. So this should be close to the same size and actually I'm just going to use the cardstock as my guide to trim where it's over. This is why I usually like to cut my first one down a bit because I don't like that overhang drives me crazy.
And it's not bad, but it's there. Okay. And then there's a little bit here. And a little bit here. It's hard kind of fitting there because of the um, pocket. The pocket's pretty sturdy, so maybe that's just where it's cut. Okay. All right. So this should need to be about the same size. Let's see how long this video is going. Okay. Well, it might take a little bit longer. You don't need to see me decorate if you don't want to. Um, I'll probably come back and do the cards to go inside on another video. But I did want to um, get this finished. And now also, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go... Gonna check my numbers again. So five and a half. But this time I'm gonna go quite a bit smaller with the five and a half because I don't want it interrupting with the fold. So here's five and a half, and I'm gonna go in. Oh, about a quarter of an inch. And then I'll go to the eight, and because we want it to look even, right? I'm gonna come in a quarter of an inch. Now, if you wanted to make this and you didn't want this to be for cards, it doesn't have to be cards. You could put pieces of paper in here. Um, you, you know, you put whatever you want to in that pocket. It does not have to be cards. But I just thought that it was a great idea for the swap. So I am going to be doing cards. Um, not real complicated, they're going to be real, like, almost like just note cards, kind of, um, not really, well, yeah, just, I'm not going to put sentiments on it, that way whoever gets them can use them for whatever purpose they deem they need, if you need a thank you or a birthday or whatever, you could just write a little note inside saying thank you or happy birthday or whatever it is that they want to write in. So they'll just be nice, simple cards. Okay, so there's that. So this, now I need to measure. So it's going to be five and a quarter inches by four inches. Five and a quarter inches by four inches. So it needs that same paper. And I need to cut it. I'm going to use the bottom. And that's four. Okay, so four. And then I'm going to come in that quarter of an inch Oops. come in 
and that quarter of an inch. And I'm going to save this for the top. And then I'm going to do this side. So I said it was five and a half. So I'm going to do, did I say five and a half or five and a quarter? Let's see. Five and a quarter, so I'm gonna do five. The straight five, and that'll give me the mat. So I used the other side because, see this is here, it didn't go all the way there, so this will go here and be the other side, if that makes any kind of sense. It probably doesn't, but we all have our ways of thinking and our ways of reasoning. So that's wonder how this tape is gonna be to get off of here. Okay. So I just bring this back in. The only thing about this tape, it's hard to get it off once it's on, right? But with it being vellum, that's why I'm doing it. Okay, now here's the top piece of this. And I'm going to want it to fit right in there. So we're looking at three and three quarters. So I'm going to go three and a quarter by... three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And again, I'm gonna go from this side. So five and a quarter. And three and three quarters, I said, right? Is that three and three quarters? It's going to take that much off. Trying to figure out what part of that paper I want taken off. Three and three quarters, I said, right? Nope. So. Okay. And is that going to fit right in there? That's going to do it. There we go. I just kind of lined it up with the pocket. And you're not going to see this one that much because the cards are going to be in there. So that's okay, but there we are. We are covered up. We have the card box. You can, now that I'm looking, you can see where the tape is. So... Whoever gets this, I hope you don't mind that. Not as bad as if it was glue, though. If it was glue, it would be horrible. But there we go. Not bad, right? We just make some cards to go in there. And, you know, we can put some over here if we want a little, a little pocket. But 
that takes up pretty much all the room right there so um maybe just put something pretty there who knows we'll see all right i really like the way this turned out so very good all right uh, thanks for joining me um so if you haven't heard i'm gonna do a swap when I reach 200 subscribers, the way it's going to work is you're going to send me something. My address will be in the description, and you will use that, and you will just mail it to mail me something, something for the swap, whatever you decide to send. Um, and then um, when I get yours, I get all of them. I wait for them to come in. And then I will have the different swaps that I've made numbered. And I will take everybody's name that's in the swap and draw them. Draw their name. Okay, I'm drawing for swap number one. Draw name. This goes to, you know, whoever's name I drew. And do that for all of my swaps. For each one of the swaps. So you're not swapping with each other. Nothing. You're swapping with me. That's why I'm showing you this. Um, some prizes are not. They're not all going to. Not prizes. Um, swaps are not going to all be like this. Some are only going to be a card. Um, you know. It, would, it just depends. Basically, on how many people enter, how many people enter the swap. But you will see, um, I'm going to show everything that I put in the swap. So if you decide you don't want to be in the swap, you know, you won't, you won't have to. You just have to look and make up that decision for your own. Make up your own decision, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So... But anyways, the way it'll work is I will give you my address. You will mail me something for your swap. And I don't care what you send me. Send me one die cut. Send me a piece of ribbon. Send me a card. Send me, you know, a little bag of sequins. Send me whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't, I'm not even concerned about that. Um, but you will see what you will get. Well, you won't know what you're getting, but you'll see what everybody's getting, what somebody's getting. I mean, I hope I'm explaining it right. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.